All right, let's talk about getting beautiful audio for your recordings. Okay, so this is the Yeti Nano Microphone, and it is a beautiful microphone made by a company called Blue, and they make really good quality microphones. Okay, so the mic I'm using right now is a little pinhole mic. Sometimes they're up here by the camera. Sometimes they're down over here by your other ports, like your charge port. Uh, but anyhow, they do pretty good, but they are just little, they literally are a pinhole, and, and they're not bad, okay? but this one's gonna be much better. Okay, so when you see me again, I'm gonna have this plugged in. This does come with the adapter, so if you have USB-A on your MacBook, you can just plug it in. If you need USB-C, just use the, the adapter that I've got zip tied onto there, and I'm gonna plug that in, okay? Okay, so now that I have the microphone plugged in, you can see that I am now inside of my system preferences. I'm inside sound. I make sure that my input is selected as my Yeti Nano microphone, so I'm off my internal pinhole mics. And then um, I'm just going to do this. So I'm just doing a test here. Of course, I can turn it down and I can turn it up. And I want it just so I'm bouncing just in the last uh, one or two of those things, just right in this area here, just like with the pinhole microphone or the built-in microphone or internal microphone, you have to make an adjustment to it. Okay, so that that's sounding really good. So I've got that adjustment made. Okay, so now that I have that adjustment, I have it ready to go. Let me tell you a couple things about uh, the microphone. One is, for some reason, everybody likes talking to the back of the microphone, which is why I've written on it. This is the back. This is the wrong side. I, some reason people, they, they go, oh, I don't mean to interrupt, but there was one thing I forgot to tell you. Uh, there is a little light on the back of there. You see it? Do you see I've got an arrow pointing to it? This is the little button that changes that. Make sure it's going to that side there, okay? And again, uh, you know, let me just uh, tilt this down to demonstrate why it's so, so important that it faces you. Okay, so this is the microphone in the right direction because the back is facing the camera as, as it should. And uh, if you turn it the wrong way, like this, then uh, it's, it's the only way to record is my voice has to bounce off the screen and then back into the front of the microphone, which is, is not a good, good sound. So just really make sure that you can see the green light. If you, as the person talking, can see the green light, then everything's good, everything's really good. like that look, I don't know, so <laughs> make sure to turn it. The green light should face you. If it's red, it's muted. Okay, so so that's, that's that. You kind of just set it down on the ground right here. Try not to touch it, because if you touch it, it's going to make noises on your recording, right? So you've got it there, and it looks kind of cool here in the bottom of your screen, so like, Hello everyone, welcome to the news. This is Brad and I'm reporting on the MS Pulse. You know, put on your, your TV reporter, you know, whatever. You know, you get what I'm saying, but this is how to get good quality recordings. You plug it in, you make sure the settings are right, you make sure you've selected it in your settings because it, it'll, it'll always default to the, the, the bad internal microphone, right? So you gotta actually go into system preferences and tell it, I want the nano microphone turned on and then you adjust it so that you've got good audio levels. Bada boom, bada bing, baby. Then you got great audio. Buttery smooth audio.